Well, Zach, um, I think a lot of times in MMA, there aren't really uh, happy retirement moments, but for you, you're one of the rare ones. Um, can you even put into words how it feels to, uh, to sit up here as a winner tonight in your hometown? I can't. I, uh, I'm trying to cry like a little baby again. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, we, we spoke early in the week. I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. I mean, I, uh, I knew this, this would be special, and... But I love this stuff. I've had so much fun uh, having the training camp, having everything, staying healthy for to get to the fight. And I, uh, man, I got all the way to the end, had had the war that I wanted, had the finish that I wanted, had a finish and winning through weight classes in, uh, in the UFC, which I, I know is pretty special. And uh, hometown, the, the, the way they were, the dude, KC fans are insane. Any any sporting event here, man, they're so loud. They they just get behind everybody, and it was it was so special. And uh, I, I'm not going to to taint that. I uh, man, it was it, it, it was fun in there. It was special, and I it, it, it's time it's time. And I, I could imagine a better way for for anybody to go out. And I I can't believe it was uh, the way I got to really uh, hang my gloves up on this. And it's. Um, I'm still going to take it in, but yeah, I, 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 the words just can't do the feelings at all. And before the fight, you were kind of leaning towards saying that this would be your last one, but you weren't committal. Was that, did you come in though tonight actually knowing that this would be it for, for sure? Or was it just the way things played out and just was the right way? Well, now that it's over, I'll, uh, I'll be truthful. <laughs> I really didn't want to retire. I, uh, I had two of my, I had two of my contract and I heard they're coming to Kansas City, and the uh, the the fight card was full. You guys know the fight card was full. They didn't know they didn't know where they were going to put this thing, right? And then you know we kind of talked, and I was like, man, like if if I got retired like that to get me on the card, like, that's what I'm going to do. And that's kind of like how this started, you know. And then with with everything, it just kind of started making more sense. And like when I said it, I was okay with it, and I I really was, and. Uh, but I was like, man, like, my guys, uh, my body's beat up, man. It's, I put years and years and years. I mean, I went from uh, tackle football to six years old, nonstop, all the way to, you know, I started fighting. Like, I've, I've been in contact sports for uh, most of my life, and, and my body's pretty shot, pretty beat up. And I just, I didn't, like, the whole goal was like, okay, I just got to get to the fight. I can fight. I can fight my ass off, right? I just got to get to the fight. And I was overly and impressed and surprised with how my body felt preparing for this and then I was like man we can we can do this again right like I'm, I'm having fun again I'm enjoying it like I'm I'm having the training camp I'm doing the stuff I love to do and then uh I started then I was like man maybe maybe I should just not retire and have another one and but all those feelings came back um and, and I like I said I just I can't imagine a better way to go out and be smart about it and uh, enjoy this moment that most people can't get. And I, I don't want to ruin that uh, by not saying goodbye. Might be the first time we've heard a tomahawk chop uh, chant during the, uh, the fights as well. I know you, you knew you had a lot of fans and friends and family here, but were you even kind of surprised by the love you got? Bro, I like, looked at the top and how many people's in this stadium or uh, in the arena and just was screaming, going crazy. Yeah. It, like I knew I'd have a good reception. This this blew my mind. I I didn't expect this. You know I uh, I, I knew this could be a, a like I said a pretty special, pretty cool experience, and it uh, it, it it surpassed every bit of uh, expectations I had and stuff. And I think that's just again one more thing that just kind of made me know that, that this was it. You know it's uh it's time for me to to lay the gloves down. It's time for me to you know get my gym built strong and, uh, and, and let this next generation do the thing. And I'll, I'll be on the back end side of coaching and, uh, and I own my own promotion and just start pushing that stuff and, and continue to build this sport, you know, in Kansas city in the Midwest, uh, with, uh, me, with me on the back end of things instead. And I think what, this was obviously a memorable moment, but what made it even more memorable was Ed retired too. I mean, we don't really have double retirement fights ever. I mean, how emotional and special was that moment to share with him? <sighs> Bittersweet. It really was. I, uh, you know, I, I have my emotions. I'm on top of the world right now, and I respect Ed so much. I mean, I've never said a bad thing about that guy, and just uh, it was, it was pretty special and uh, 
I feel like I've said special a million times so far, by the way. But uh, <laughs> it, <clears throat> it, it was just crazy having to be able to be in there with someone like Ed Herman who's been in this game for so long. I knew how tough he was. And, man, seeing the other end of it, it broke my heart. I mean, I, it, it really did. It broke my heart seeing him, you know, beaten and battered and, you know, he's crying his tears, you know, for the other end. And it just, I mean, yeah, we're, I'm human. I'm a very emotional guy. You know, I, 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 my, my heart's on my sleeve. I, as, as happy as I am, it, uh, it was almost equally hurting for Ed. Um, but being able to lay our gloves down in the middle of that, uh, the octagon and, and have a moment with him, it's a moment I'll never forget. Thank you. Hey Zach, congratulations. Uh, can you talk, tell me, you know, what's looking back on your career, the best moment of it? Uh, this one's obviously pretty high up there, I'd imagine. Anything else that kind of jumps to mind? Yeah, I mean, six years ago to the date, fighting here again. You know, first time, uh, that one was, that was extra, it stood out quite a bit just because it was the first time that USC actually came to Missouri. You know, there was, whatever issues and stuff that they, they just would not come to Missouri and stuff and then you know they finally decided to come to Missouri they came to Kansas City I was I was pretty early on the uh on the fight card but I was the first local to be able to fight and, and have that moment uh first round finish um, it didn't get much better than that you know and you know I didn't have that many people out there which was cool about tonight but uh but it was insanely loud it was crazy um but more than anything just I've been all over the world with this sport and with this company that places I would have never imagined uh, being a, even though it's one I lost, the, the experience of, uh, I was co-main event under Connor out in, uh, in Dublin, Ireland. And uh, that, that whole fight week, the whole, uh, the trip and everything, the fight, I think I fought, uh, fought Garner Nelson. And it, it, it really stood out of just how special the moment it was. And even though I, I came out on the losing end of it, uh, you know, I took my first loss for the UFC. So it hurt, but it, it definitely will. Uh, that moment and that uh, that whole experience will it will stick with me forever. It was it was it definitely was the the most special one uh, until uh, uh, outside of the two here at home. Um, you know that uh, that's definitely for sure the. The, the ones that stood out, I mean, they all have something that, that stand out on them. And, you know, each fight, each opponent, you, know, you kind of leave, leave yourself, you know, something of yourself in, in, the, in, that, in the cage. And, you know, you gain part of them, I feel like, you know, whenever you go to battle with somebody. So each one has its moment, but those three probably stood out the most. Well, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Zach? Pretty much from media day when we first saw you to right here right now, You've been, it looked like you were taking everything in, right? Like every little, I mean, I've never seen anybody walk up on media day, stop short of the table, look around for a second, and then sit down. So now that it's almost over, like the night's over and the whole week's over, like, did it, did it feel like it went by really, really fast? No, I mean, I, uh, that was something that upset, we, uh, set me with my, oh, another, uh, moment, I guess my debut, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the, my debut by went it went really fast. Like I would, I did the walkout, everything, and like I turned around like, man, like it was just over. It was just super quick. So that was the one thing that as a coach I've always told these people, like, take this in, slow it down, like you're only gonna get this moment so many times. So like really be present, you know, and don't just kind of be in your own head and stuff. And and ever since that day, I, I've tried to be that way. You know, I mean I guess especially I mean like I had an injury that I thought ended me, you know, in, in this sport. So I didn't know if I'd ever be able to do this again. And the fact that I was able to, like, yeah, I was going to, I was going to take in every moment, enjoy, enjoy the ride. Cause I mean, you know, like we said, we, we were pretty sure it was going to be the last one. And, uh, one, I was just so thankful and grateful that I could do this again and be here again and, and have this opportunity. And I, uh, I wasn't going to let it just go by me and stuff and, and, and flash by and, I was going to take it in, and I'm still doing it. And, you know, we got tonight. We're going to have fun. Um, yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a trip. I think for, for me, you know, being a father myself, the best part for me was, was uh, you don't have to tell stories about when you fought. Yeah. So at least at least with a five-year-old, right? Like, yeah. You don't have to tell stories. 
she was right there with you, literally in there with you. So what was that like bringing you? Well, I brought some tears. I, uh, I, I really wanted to stay strong. All these guys retire, do stuff, and they start crying. I'm like, nah, I got this, got this. And that little corner guy back there brought my kid in, put him in my arms, and I was like, start boohooing. Um, you know, she's five. She really doesn't understand all this, but she knows it's pretty big, right? And, uh, and as she gets older, we'll look back on this, and, and it's going to be a moment that, that we'll share and we'll have. Uh, kind of sucks. I've got my, uh, my other daughter that turns two in, in July, you know. Sucks that, you know, she'll miss out on this part of me and stuff, but, you know, it's life. It's part of it. Um, I, I'm really happy I got to enjoy it with one of my, child, you know, one of my children. And... Uh, you know, and she's super passionate. I don't know how the other one's going to be, right? She's super young. But this one is very passionate about this sport. She loves jujitsu. She loves kickboxing. She just loves training in the gym. Uh, she loves the fighters on the team. Uh, you know, I own a promotion. She goes and, and watches some. And she's just, uh, she's all in on this stuff. And uh, I don't know how that was going to last. But as, as long as uh, I have that passion in her, like, it was, it was cool to enjoy this moment for sure. And I'm, uh, I'm, Really happy that we got to share that, that that time in the cage. Congratulations, man. Thank you. I've got one more for you. Uh, I'm here for another week. Give me the one spot to eat at. Just the, the best one. My favorite is right across from our hotel, which is Graham and Dunn, around the, around the plaza. It's Graham and Dunn's amazing. I love it. If I'm ever traveling, uh, well, I mean, if I ever come into town really to eat, uh, that's the spot. It's amazing food. Thanks. Got you. Here in the front, yes, you talked about wanting to establish KC in the MMA scene. You're a big part of that, and especially the energy that was in the building today. What does that look like? What are the next steps that you're no longer in the octagon? You know, I think it's just um, being here as a coach and a mentor for anybody that wants me in their corner, anybody that wants, uh, you know, to share the match, share some knowledge with me. I'm, uh, I'm going to be here for anybody that that wants it, and. You know, like I said, I, uh, I own a promotion. There's another great promotion in town that I'm friends with everybody. And, like, we're just the, – the MMA community in KC is, is ridiculous. There, there's a, a huge fan base here. Uh, the locals are really good. We have some great up-and-comers that are uh, just cracked into the UFC and about to, uh, about to make their walk as well. And I'm just excited to be able to, you know, to be on the, the back end of that and just continue to guide these guys. Um, you know, we've had a pretty strong presence here. And I just want to make sure that we keep that going.